All right, what's up, Hacksters? Uh, today, I am really excited because I spent the weekend at Abbey Road Studios at a hackathon uh, put on by that group, as well as um, this company, Chirp. Bear Conductive was a sponsor, and there were a bunch of other really cool companies involved. And as a music tech hackathon, so I built this hat that plays uh, samples um, of this machine-to-machine -machine communication protocol called Chirp. It is so cool. It basically allows you to transmit information without, like, wirelessly, without any uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or any other sort of radio signal. All it requires is a speaker and a microphone uh, on opposite ends. And basically, uh, it sounds like R2-D2 when they communicate. So I wanted to make Archimedes, my robot owl, um, respond to commands so that I can actually like communicate with him because sometimes we're trying to take a photo and he's just kind of like looking over all over like everywhere plus like you can embed uh, ultrasonic versions of these chirps into like music for example and I thought I could make like a dance track for him so he could choreograph to music anyway so uh oh I need to grab my phone I think I've got it okay yeah we're gonna do a demo it's gonna be fantastic but uh for this demo I used the Chirp uh, app on my phone and the Bear Conductive touch board to uh, pr play back these samples when I touched little parts of my hat. Um, the touch board is fantastic. It's an Arduino-based board. There's also the Bear Conductive Pi cap or touch cap, which is the same thing except for as a cap for your Raspberry Pi. It's like a small hat. <laughs> And um, so basically, this comes with an example sketch loaded on it that already plays sample files when you touch the different uh, connectors. And here's what it looks like. We're going to take a look at it on the website in a minute as well. But this is the hat. Uh, let me just turn it on for you and we can see what it does. That's what the chirps sound like. Isn't that awesome? Um, but basically, I've wired these contacts on the hat up to the contacts on the bare conductive touchboard, and those could be, you know, wires. They could be, uh, you know, lines of conductive paint. Bare conductive is mainly a conductive paint company, but they sell electronics to do with it as well. Check out their light up board. We did like a lamp kit thing a while ago, if you're curious. And um, so I've just put a little lipo battery on this and a speaker that are both, uh, that make it basically, you know, mobile and battery powered. You could also connect alligator clips or anything else to these contacts. Um, and I think maybe some of the demo tracks are still loaded. No, they're not, I deleted them, okay. But if I touch these, oh, come on, this always happens. <laughs> Prototypes, you know. So when I do this, ah, <laughs> let me show you the other half of this which is going to eventually be Archimedes, but um, when I touch this... Yeah, it shows a direction, and I think one of the other ones is, is kind of cooler. I tried to communicate with him solely in emojis. Okay, yeah, this one is like an emotional one. The idea is eventually to have him be able to emote uh, the, the owl, Archimedes, emote in different ways. So I wrote some like uh, servo animations that he would respond to these chirps with. I'm gonna turn this off. Uh, yeah, the idea is that Archimedes will be able to hear these chirps and like my phone, he'll decode them into emoji, which I will put into the uh, Arduino code that's controlling his servos um, or on a Raspberry Pi or whatever. And therefore, I'll be able to easily play those animations that I've programmed. So like, if it's a little happy emoji, he'll sort of go like, <gasps> and if it's sad emoji, he'll go like, <clears throat> and stuff like that. Uh, so chirp plus bear conductive seems like a really super combination. And there were a few different hacks this weekend that involved that. Again, it was like a hackathon. And that's why my voice is like this, because I barely slept in the last like 48 hours. Um, also, hi, I'm in London. So let's take a look at the site for Bear Conductive, and I think also Chirp. We're gonna do another segment on that in a bit, but um, maybe you can get a little sneak preview. All right, one sec. So this is the Bear Conductive official page where you can find the touch board. 
uh, all you do is load your MP3 or yeah, load MP3 files onto a an SD card, a micro SD card that slots into the side here. You can see it on the left side of the board um, in this image here, and it can also do not just capacitive touch, but proximity sensing, which is super cool. Um, so basically, I took the demo files that were on there, which when it when you first plug it in, it's loaded with these MP3 files that tell you how to use the board and how to get started, which I think is really clever. And then you can replace those easily with your own files, and you instantly have a touch-responsive sampler, basically. Um, they have a lot of really good documentation, and they also exist on Hexter.io. Um, so you can go to products and look at the touchboard itself, or go look at the electric paint and stuff, and you can find some other examples people have done with this, uh, including the really cool LEGO interactive wall. Um, check out their paint. You can get it in one liter cans, and the pie cap, and the light up board. We've talked about a number of these before, but you can also get like pre-printed sen sensors. The chirp thing I was talking about is chirp.io. And you can read more about it, <laughs> as well as the hackathon we just did. Um, it's very cool, and I will be putting up a tutorial on how I built the hat so that you can find all these links really easily. Um, but for now, you can find them in the description to this video. So those are both super cool platforms. Um, you can also use Trip on the Microsoft Azure IoT board, which has like a little OLED screen and stuff like that. Anyway, I wanted to give you a quick introduction to the touchboard. Again, it is not new. It's not super new. Um, but I've never been able to use it before because I haven't had one. <laughs> uh, so they generously donated some of these to the hackathon. And a uh, quick overview again, in case you missed uh, the actual wiring here, I've just wired stuff up to these contacts here. Uh, and then sort of threaded those wires around here and then soldered them onto these aluminum tape. This is aluminum conductive tape. Uh, and unfortunately, it doesn't solder very well, really. So uh, some of these are coming off because uh, uh, that's why those weren't working, yeah. Um, I think I need to do something to make it so that I can solder to the aluminum tape. Plus, it's a giant heat sink, right? But it's pretty thin. Um, nonetheless, uh, several of these are lifting off because it's really hard to get it to solder. Considerations for your next wearable project. There was a ton of cool stuff that happened this weekend. There were a ton of really cool projects, uh, and I'm really glad I had the opportunity to come over here. Stick around. Um, the rest of this week, we're going to be at Electronica in Munich. So if you're there, come say hi. <laughs> we're going to be talking about Hackster and helping run this developer lounge really cool thing. So there's going to be a lot of neat stuff going on. Uh, I'll have Archimedes and uh, a few of my teammates. So. Stay tuned for information from that. I, I'm sure we'll see lots of really cool, like, more industrial applications. Uh, and we'll catch you soon. I've also got some extra filler, filler, <laughs> filler videos. Sleep is catching up with me. Uh, to keep you uh, entertained in the meantime. So we'll catch you soon. Ciao.